Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to be reviewing this washer I got. It's from a company called Giantex. This thing is 17.6 pounds load capacity. I've had it for about a year, so it's holding up pretty good. Um, I'm going to put the link down in the description down here in case you want to check out the details or if you want to buy it. Alright, let's show you how it works. This washer is pretty light, so the easiest way I found to use it is to just lift it up and just put it in the bathtub like this. Okay, so the cord that it came with isn't very long, so I recommend buying a extension cord that's about maybe 10 feet in length. Now this is the tube that it came with and the tube doesn't exactly fit onto the shower head so what I had to do is take take the tube and then I had to take a rubber glove and cut the top off the rubber glove and then put a rubber band around it okay and then at the top of the glove where you stick your hand in I put the, another rubber band right there so then you grab it like this open it up like that so then you could stick it onto the shower head like this okay now we're good to go with that and then I'll show you what you do with this part right here that we're all connected up here we're just going to take take this tube right here and stick it right onto here the water inlet okay um, Make sure you're on uh, normal or else and not drain or else it's not going to fill up with any water. Alright, then we'll just turn the shower on like normal and it starts filling up. One thing that's nice about it is it does have a lint tray right here. You squeeze it and it comes out right there. Alright, I gotta empty that actually but yeah, that's where it's going to catch all your lint. Now, since it's just a small washing machine, I just do about half of the normal amount that I would normally use. Just pour it on in there. Alright. I usually let it fill up to a little bit above the lint tray, and then I go ahead and turn off the water. Now I put in the clothes. Alright, so I'm going to put in a sweater and long sleeve shirt put in another sweater a pair of pants another shirt and last but not least some underwear and we're good all right then you shut it and we we're just on normal mode it's not delicates which we, we would use soft for but just normal clothes so I'm going on normal turn it on all the way to 15 minutes and you look inside see it starts starting to spin getting it going So now that the 15 minute cycle is up, it is time to switch it to drain. Alright, and then here's the drain tube which comes out of the bottom. You just let it drain out. If you look inside you'll see the water is quickly going down. Being drained into the tub down the drain. Next thing we do is we transfer all the clothes right here into the spinner. Alright, so you just stuff your clothes in here. Just like that. Alright, and this spinner goes for five minutes. Just 
spinning. And then this also makes the water drain out too. So make sure that you keep it on drain right there. This spinner does a great job at getting all of the water out of the clothes. But they still come out a little bit damp. Since the clothes are still going to be just a little bit damp, you can just hang dry anywhere you want. That's option number one. Option number two is you can just buy a mini portable dryer like this one that just plugs in and it vents right out the window. So now we just load it up just like we would any other dryer. Alright, close the door. It starts running. Here are the controls for the dryer in case you're interested. This button right here is for heat, high and low. And then we have a dial right here that lets you select how long you want to dry your stuff for. And here's the final product. Nice and dry. They smell so fresh. Okay, that's all folks. The Giantex 17.6 pound load capacity washer and spinner combo. Remember to like and subscribe if you have any questions Put them down here in the comments and I'll be sure to answer them as fast as possible. And remember, I'll put the Amazon link for this in the description right down here below as well as the portable dryer. This unit right here goes for around uh, 100 to 120 dollars on Amazon, it varies, but if you want to get the best price, click down here on my link. Thank you for watching and have a great day.